The presidential media chats this evening. President Golok Jonathan has provided assurances that the removal of fuel subsidy will not only tackle the rate of corruption in the oil sector, it will also generate job opportunities for the teeming unemployed Nigerian population. The president made this known in the annual presidential media chats which took place in Abuja, where he addressed issues he feels are of paramount importance to the people of Nigeria. Top on the agenda was a question of the controversial fuel subsidy removal, which has generated a heated debate in recent times. The president says the exercise will also ensure that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the NNPC, is kept out of the business of marketing petroleum products to concentrate on its regulatory role in the petroleum sector. President Jonathan says his administration could afford to rely on borrowing and achieve results till 2015, but the reason for the deregulation of the downstream sector is to ensure that subsequent administrations do not have challenges that could plunge the nation into financial difficulties. When you relate corruption to the issue of subsidy, the deregulation itself is to solve that problem. Because when you continue to subsidize a product, there are so many loopholes, sometimes from investigations, sometimes rightly or wrongly, even the cargoes that bring in petroleum products, trying to play some tricks, either not uh, bringing the full cargo or round tripping. When the cargo comes on board, there are stories of people may bring a particular volume and claim double or triple. So the issue of deregulation is actually to remove some of these areas that expose the old chain to corrupt practices. So the deregulation itself is the way of fighting the most called corruption in Nigeria. Probably the area you are, uh, people may get worried is that, okay, after deregulation, government may have a little leverage in terms of avail availability of funds for intervention. How do you manage those funds? We are even intensifying, if you look at it, we are trying to restructure uh, corruption agencies. Recently, we have changed the leadership in uh, ICPC, we have changed the leadership in EFCC. Even in the police, they, the, one of the greatest problems we have in the police is that the investigative department of the police, the, the popular CID, is, is no longer as vibrant as it used to be when we were younger people. In those days, we had no ICPC, we had no EFCC. But the police do the work. That is an area, too, that we've been discussing with the IG. They are training people now so that that arm of the police will be strengthened. Young graduates, very competent, intelligent young graduates, have been trained to strengthen that arm of the police. We are saying that we are going to build three new refineries. Sir, who are we going to import to do these two new refineries? What, have, what problem in the system have we addressed to make sure that those new refineries will take off? Government is no longer going to wholeheartedly build refineries. Well, we build that. that is something that has been done better by the private sector. And that's one of the areas we are talking about, the deregulation. We want, make, we want to make sure that Nigerians and their foreign business partners come in and build refineries. But to make sure we take off very effectively. Government wants to own 20 to 25 percent. The present thing we are talking about was a total capacity of 400,000 uh, uh, barrels per day production. We are talking to some Chinese group. We want to make sure it should be government to government. This one, the target is to take 20 percent, but government doesn't want to take more than 25 percent. And even if this 20 to 25 percent, even if the refineries are functioning, government will divest it to Nigerians. The deal with deregulator, and we have our financial projections for the year from January as we progress before March. The contractors themselves, when they are sure that the payment is coming, they can use their money to mobilize 